Situated in a beautiful valley on the edge of the Pennines and just 25 miles from Manchester and 38 from Leeds, Burnley is well located, but the town has been dogged by its economic past. It's uh, an old uh, industrial town that has suffered decline over the past 30 years. And this moment in time is at a tipping point uh, between recovering to be involved in the new technologies and also recovering in the regeneration of the homes and houses of the town. Burnley has a higher percentage of people on benefits than the national average with 11,500 claimants. We need to regenerate the town, we need to regenerate the jobs we need to bring into Burnley, the jobs of the future that will replace the jobs of the past. The local authority has embarked on an unprecedented programme of regeneration to strengthen and diversify the local economy to make sure its inhabitants are skilled, healthy and in work. This includes investing £90 million in the town's future on a new campus for the college and university. There are also five new secondary schools being built, ensuring that the people of Burnley have the necessary skills for the 21st century. Last year saw the opening of the St Peter's Leisure and Health Centre. The idea is to tackle the number of people who are out of work for health reasons and claiming incapacity benefit. We've invested jointly around 28 million in this facility. I and mean, as you can see from today, it's got all of the state-of-the-art equipment you might expect to see. By bringing together leisure with GPs, dentists and other healthcare providers, patients can be passed on to exercise programmes within the same building, and it's unique in the country. To make a very clear point to you, people don't work if they're not well. This is one of the main um, facilities and uh, assets we have to improve the health of the population. Another major initiative for the town is the brand new Evolve Partnership and web-enabled database. For the first time, all the agencies involved in helping the workless have been brought together in one easy-to-use place. We have a powerful tool that we can use and partners can use to ensure that actually the progression is a positive one and that the person involved is not suffering um, barriers that should be able to be overcome by people working together. Whether you're a public, private or community organisation that helps the workless, your details are in this system. Um, the type of courses that you're looking for is in construction. Jane Crompton at Accent Housing Association is a keen user of the system. She can plan an individual's progression on the system as well as seeing vacancies. The Evolve database ensures that people don't get lost within the system and for us it ensures that we're meeting up with people that we might not normally meet up with for our project. Ali's details have now been entered into the system and he'll soon be reaping the benefits. It gives you a clear path where you're going. You don't get lost here and there. And it, just, you know, you know, you what, what you want, you'll get it, basically. With other innovations like the Lancashire Digital Technology Centre, which encourages new businesses and high-growth startups into the area with its IT and conference facilities, the town is directly addressing its economic problems. The town is being transformed by the £1 billion of capital investment that's coming into the town from a basically run-down industrial town to a futuristic, high-tech manufacturing town in a beautiful part of Lancashire where people will be delighted to live and work. With all this inward investment and innovation, the future of the town is looking sustainable and bright. Mm -hmm.